What is going on, peeps? Welcome to episode two of International Snacks. And this time, I'm not alone. I'm joined by... Me, Vivian, your we're, favorite co-host. We're going to hit <laughs> you guys up with another unboxing from another Sogan bag from Amazon. We're working our way up to that big box. Today is no snack. Desu. Okay. If you understood that. It's very bad Japanese for today. We're trying Japanese snacks. Okay. All right. Bring the culture to the bread. I love it. I'm finally putting my three years of Japanese to work. Oh. After like 15 years. So are you able to understand fluently to watch a movie without subtitles? No. It's I, so hard. Yeah. It's How about so ordering in a restaurant? Uh, I mean... A little bit, a little bit. It's still hard because they have so many different levels of formality. Mm. Um, I've had, like when I was going to a few omakases, like a lot of the chefs are Japanese, if not all. They, mm -hmm. they understand Japanese, even if it's Chinese, the Chinese uh, uh, omakase chef, right? They still speak fluent Japanese. So mm. they, yeah, there's, there's times where uh, I've conversed a little bit. Um, Usually it's, they're like, oh, you can speak Japanese. I'm like, oh, hi. Koko ni nihongo benkyo shimashita. Which is, which means uh, I studied Japanese in high school. Okay, okay, right on. <laughs> yeah, and that's about it. And okay. then, you know, to say thank you. Thank you for the meal. Gochiso sama deshita. And then that's it. All right, all right. And then the rest of it is just like, oh, mm, hi. Hey, ah, uh, so that's you. And uh, whether I understand that or not, you will never know. Okay. <laughs> Fun fact for you guys. I know everything. <laughs> Don't worry. Ooh, okay. I kind of opened it already. Okay, well, let's randomly pick one then. Okay. So grab one. Let's slide this guy over here. Okay, can you guys even see the snacks? It's so far. Okay, you're gonna have to bring them right up to the camera for them. So we'll start one at a time. So pick one to start off with. <gasps> oh, they have the taiyaki. Okay, and she actually knows the names of this stuff. That's even better for you guys. Fuku Fuku Tai Choco, which is, uh, I guess, Fuku Fuku Taiyaki, which Taiyaki is the, it's like a, Bread pastry where they have uh, either a red bean filling, but uh, this one is chocolate. Yeah. Okay. So, for all your Toronto peeps at Young and Finch and now at Young and Steel's, there's a Korean stall that sells it. And it's really good. It's my favorite one. So I'm H -Mart? taking this. Yeah, right beside H Mart. Okay. They have a little food stall. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they they opened one up at Young and Steel's, like an actual shop. Right on, right on. So you can eat your taiyaki without being cold. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Corn potage. Okay, no, we're gonna try. When you show it to them, we try it. Oh, we try it. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. All right. So crispy. The little fish. Should we move the camera up so it just stays more close up? Look at that fish. It has a little heart shape. Oh, it's a little heart shaped fin. <laughs> Look at that. No. Look at this. I don't know. There's a chocolate filling. It's supposed to be crispy. Sorry, fish. Ugh. Okay, you want the bigger piece? I'll take the smaller one. Oh. Some wafers. So it kind of looks like arrow on first yeah, analysis. Like arrow. I don't know what the texture is. I've never tried one of these. I've seen these in a lot of videos. Always wanted to. They're usually full of bean paste, right? Yeah. Red bean paste. Mm. Or custard. This is like a chocolate wafer bar. Like the yeah. little chocolate wafers you get in the dollar store. It's not too sweet. No. I like it. Yeah? Uh, not bad. 
thing I like about these Japanese snacks that I've been trying is they're not too sweet most mm -hmm. of the time. They're still light. Yeah. And there's some, like, flavors that are a bit strong that I don't know what the hell it is, but I'm just like, some I like, some I'm just like, okay. All right, uh, you pick. All right, so I'm just going to... Okay, um... This is what is this? Okay, you're gonna. Have to, is that apple? It looks like a sauce packet. Is it a sauce packet? Is it jelly? It is. Lingo, so it means apple. Is it? Is it? Jelly? 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 Yeah, jelly, jelly. These are really good. Yeah. I actually really like these jellies. I mean, okay. not this brand, but these kinds of jelly snacks. Okay. So you could try it. So, um, you know, I'll try to break a piece off into here. Oh, no, it's fine. I don't think it works that way. Yeah. Oh, it is? Oh, okay, cool. I'm going to keep this as my little tray for when I have to do that. Okay. That's good. Oh, it's so good. Mm, that, oh, my God. Finger licking good. I like that. It feels so nostalgic, like that artificial apple flavor. Yeah, that's what is bringing back the Allen juice boxes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. I could eat these all day. Yeah, thank God these aren't in Canada, because I would probably overindulge on those. You just don't know where to buy them. That's the thing. <laughs> that is the thing. I've heard that. I've heard a lot of stuff that I did on that last one was actually in stores. All right. Mm. This does not look like a snack, like a sweet snack. It looks like a savory snack because it says corn potage. I'm not too sure what potage is. I'm assuming by by the label it is um just <laughs> soup. I like vegetables blended so it's a soup it's a soup okay so that's just like the bear one from the last one we'll save that for another video that's like kind of a something you have to cook i'm guessing oh no, no, no. So oh. It's, not, it's not a soup that you drink oh it's it's pretty crispy sounding okay so it's like it's just a flavor oh okay okay mm. techie Okay, the thing with Japanese is that they have a whole alphabet for foreign words using the Japanese alphabet, which means it doesn't always sound like the actual foreign word. So I don't actually know what English this is supposed to be. Teki, text, text. Techies. For some reason, I want to say porridge. Sasakun? Sasun? Okay. I don't know. Maybe it says texture. Oh, they're corn puffs. Okay. They're corn puffs. All right. So, yeah, these look like corn puffs, cheese puffs. Savory snacks. Just take my water. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. I didn't. Did, I, That's okay. Um, yeah. Not like a cheese pup. This is definitely a different type of flavor. Um, I don't know what that flavor is. Do you? It tastes like corn with a bit of seaweed in it. Yeah? Okay. That might be it. All right. Um, definitely tastes like a soup. It tastes a little shrimpy. I like it though. You yeah. Like it. Yeah, they're okay. They're okay. How would you rate it? And that one, um, three out of five. It was okay, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to try it again. If it was at a party, I, I would snack on it, but I'm not gonna actually buy it. I like it. I would buy it. Yeah. I would buy it. I'd say four out of five. Right on. I'm so, still eating. So. Yeah. So she definitely likes them. I'm not a big chip guy. I was certain flavors, but it's kind of a, a Dixon thing, but all this is on here is a mini pack. I don't know if you know this other little bit. 
They look like spicy nuts. They might be spicy nuts. Ozumami time. I don't know what kind of time they're telling us to have. I'm assuming it says time, like you're gonna have a good time. But uh, I don't think these are nuts. These are like uh, rice puffs. Oh, okay. That are glazed with um, some kind of savory. Oh, like a glaze? salt flavor or something. Yeah. Or barbecue. And it's uh, yeah. Otsunami, otsunami time. Hmm. <laughs> Whoever speaks Japanese can tell us. All right. It's a good thing I'm going to the gym after. I'm gonna burn I went off before. all these snacks. I also sell sold earlier, so. Oh, these are good. Oh my god. I don't know what that is. That's a very. I've tried this before. I've tried it before too. I don't know where I've tried this, but yo, bussin' bussin' peeps, definitely like that. This, I think, feels like a beer snack. Yeah. Right? Okay, okay, now I know exactly where I tried this. There's this uh, karaoke spot, this, I think it's a Korean karaoke spot close to past Young and Fence. Oh, I forget the name. Yeah. Okay. Hey. This is the bourbon, bourbon white cream. Ellie, Elige, 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 Elize, Elize, Elize. I think it's, they're just trying to make it sound like a pretty elegant name. Okay. But I think it's another wafer, white cream wafer it says, Open this way. Actual instructions on how to open it. Mm. I've heard of that about like Japanese food, but I haven't seen that anything. That's kind of cool to actually see it for a real one. I Come forgot on. to take a picture of all the goods. Mmm. Oh well, that's okay. But yeah, Japanese people are very meticulous. Their their need for perfection is insane. Oh, and it's like Another a Kit Kat. Yeah. All right. White cream. Mmm. Okay. This is like old, those old-fashioned cream crackers, kind of, in a wafer. Yeah. Not bad. It's like a, I almost feel like a bootleg version of those straw things. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The one with the chocolate or strawberry yeah, swirl? Yeah, the swirls, the yeah. In a can. A lot of snacks to go through. Hmm. Oh, this one actually have. Oh, there's actually there's instructions. Wow, I did not get this on the last one. I knew this one was different because the other one was just like a black bag. This one is clear. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah, I read it wrong. It's not fuku fuku. It's puku puku. Okay. Okay. Puku puku taiyaki. <laughs> um. Oh, that's cool. Well, it doesn't give instructions for every... Like, they don't describe everything. There's Yu-Gi-Oh on here for you guys who like that. Yu-Gi-Oh? Isn't that what that is? Oh, no. Something no. else. Shogun Candy. Oh, okay. Shogun Candy got, like, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh looking cards. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh Pokemon, I guess. Yeah. What's the next one? Bisuku. Bisuko. Ichigo cream. I tried a red version of this on the last box. What flavor was it? It was vanilla. Oh, uh, this is strawberry. Okay. Ichigo means strawberry. So I'm assuming it says biscuit, but they're like... Yeah, they're like tea biscuits. Branding it as bisco. Bisco. I love how everything comes in like little tiny... Yeah. Packages of two, which is perfect. Absolutely. Yeah, these look exactly Not like the other silly. one. Is this this pink on the inside? Oh, cool. You know, I would have liked tea biscuits more if they had a strawberry flavor like this. It's like 
the strawberry pocky sticks with extra strawberry aroma. Yeah, yeah. Not, not even the flavor, not the taste, but the aroma, like the smell of it. True. On like steroids. <laughs> the flavor is a little bland. Eh, no, it's not, not really. But it's made by the same company, Glyco. Glyco? Glyco? Oh, okay. Oh. Mm. Should we really be eating all the sugar all at once? I did it by myself last night. Really? Yeah. Well, all I, of it? Yeah. There was a few the DIYs I left out. That I tried last time, the Pop Rocks. These are legit the best, one of the best things in there. Mmm, really? It's, 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 a... it's a soda flavored one, right? Pachi Pachi Paniku. Now it's the one that's like, I like I make you panic. Pachi Pachi Panic is what they're saying. Really? Yes, but did you say Pachi Pachi Paniku? Yeah, because it's Pop Rocks with something else. So it's like an utter candy with Pop Rocks in there. So it's a mix. Like Coca Cola, I think. Yeah. Okuchi no naka ga okiregi. So I think. Based on the Chinese characters that I know, something about your mouth. In your mouth, it's going to give you a big sensation. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that describes it perfectly. Yeah. And it says, cola ajime. So, cola flavor. This was, guys, my favorite one last time. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's got like. It's not just cola, it's got the, uh, got little tabs, like little pink and yellow tabs. Yeah, those are the other flavors. Just pop it all out your mouth? Mm, that's all, all at once? All in one shot. Did I take, t it's gonna explode in my mouth. Here goes nothing. Oh. Ah, you hear it? I got nice mics, so I hope you hear it. Ah. Wow, it's so loud. ASMR. <laughs> okay, now we can use that hashtag. Okay, peeps, we're going to do two more, and then we'll hit you guys up with a part two in a future date. Can't eat too much sugar. You don't want diabetes. I don't even like the pocky sticks. Oh. But like, they look like. Savory version. Poriki. Poriki. What is this porridge crap? Potato and bacon. Yeah. Potato and bacon flavor. Which, I think to all of us who know pocky, this looks like a Pocky knockoff. Or pets. You know? Well, let me see the front of it. Isn't that the... Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was the same guy from the Unamo bars. Where? You know the, the Unamo bars? The mascot on that? But it's, oh, no, it's not the same guy. I like savory snacks. I'm not... I'm the opposite. I'm more of a gummy guy. Savory snacks, I like when I'm drinking, but usually when I'm drinking, I'll have a meal before I drink anyways. And then when I'm drinking, I want some wings and an other burger. <laughs> so snacks aren't on my mind all usually, but when it comes to snacks, I'm usually more of a gummy and there's something else I like. Some hard candies. There's something else. Chips I used to love. But... Those jalapeno saying Vicky, Miss Vicky's chips, definitely not good for me. You just chew it. Mhm. Mm and you just. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you just like yeah. I, you're still having go. I savor things. I'm gonna do that in my next go round. You guys don't savor your food. 
I don't know about other people. Like, that's probably why I eat so slow. To be f- uh, to be fair, we're doing a video, so I quick shot stuff. Time is money. You've never seen me when I'm actually having a fat kid time. We do fat kid Tuesdays, fat kid times. I'm very different. I savor the flavors. I don't know if I like this one. No? Because, like, the initial taste, when I put it in my mouth, is, like, very cardboardy. Mm. And it reminded me of the the Jelly Belly Challenge. One of them. Oh. It was, like, you, really cardboardy and, like... These type of things I wouldn't be a fan of anyways. So, obviously, you guys, I started talking about gummies when we were eating that. <laughs> okay. I think we have... This one's cool. It's like yo yo something. I love the packaging on some of these yeah, things, like the designs. Super colorful. Like the the one thing from like ordering stuff internationally, I've always loved is the designs are so intricate, and some of them have such neat packaging. It's like um, things I could get locally, it's things I can get from my own store. I would like order internationally just because I like the packaging. Look at us. Oh, some of the back. So There's a bunch fun. of different ones. Oh, and you like mixed flavors? Mm, so I think it's like... I think if you mix flavors here, it'll get a different flavor. Three. Uh, I don't know. There's too many letters. And they're all screaming at me. <laughs> uh, Kawa... Kawaii me. Kawaii me. I don't know what cute flavor tastes like, but they say it's cute flavored. Okay. Cute flavor. Cute flavored. There is green apple, budo, oh, oh, grape, and then yogurt and peach. It's gum. And it is four of them? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's just Gyo Gyo Gyo. I'm assuming Gyo 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 is the, the name of the snack. Okay. Go, go, go. Gyo Gyo Gyo! But it's probably Go Go Go. Oh no, that's not true. Oh, Gum Sticks! A... Okay. Go Stick? What are Go Sticks? Gum Sticks. Gum Sticks? Uh, oh. You're right. It does say gum. Well, you know what? It's one for the road. Right on. So there's peach and then grape. How did they yogurt. expect you to mix these? What did they mean mix them? Like you bite off a chunk? Or is it just other flavors available? Oh, so, so it's like if you mix three, for example, if you mix... Green apple, grape, and yogurt, you'll get Moscato grape, mm. like green grapes. And then if you mix purple, grape, yogurt, and peach, you get blueberry. Okay. Blueberry. Okay. <laughs> blueberry. And then peachy plus uh, aori lingo. Oh, uh, well, not out. Uh, yeah. I wrote it. I don't remember the color for green, but yeah, it's green apple. Grape is plum. Plum. So that's if you cut them or you bite them off. Okay, and then okay. you mix all the flavors For together. some reason, I thought it was like a liquid thing. And I was just like, okay, liquid thing. I'll just pour them into my little tray. I was just like, okay. So green apple plus grape makes cherry. And then green apple plus yogurt makes... A pear. Really? And then green apple plus peach makes sumomo? What is sumomo? I don't know. <laughs> it's either an orange or a persimmon based oh, on the okay. picture. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. Citrus. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I think you're supposed to break them. Like, and then you want to mix flavors. It's green apple. I'm not too sure which one is peach and which one is grape. Oh. Um, they're like the exact same colors. You want to just break them all in half? I think the darker one is purple. That's great. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try yogurt. Oh yeah, they just they just come off like this. Okay. That's, oh, they're in squares. Okay. Um, okay, that makes it perfect. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. We broke that. All right, on. I'll take this one. It's um, actually gum, right? It's not candy. So I just spit it out. Mm, this is more like um, like type of gum that kind of like dissolves, dissolves like juicy fruit. Juicy fruit dissolves. The juicy fruit gum doesn't last. It's like it never lasts more than like fifteen seconds. Maybe I don't. I haven't gotten in years. I've been more of a dentine guy, or uh, what's that sour thing? I forget. Jaw breakers or whatever, or ice breakers, whatever they are. But juicy fruit used to suck, and Wiggly's gum was the good one. But then they lost the war for some reason. Does this actually taste like cherry, or or no pear? Pear. I'm not a fan of it. No? Like the the gum texture is so soft, I feel like it's supposed to melt and dissolve and I'm supposed to swallow it. No, that's yeah. That, right? Mm -hmm. It's like cotton candy. Yeah. It's like the gum even if you want to spit it out, you're not going to. I'm half expecting it to completely dissolve in my mouth. Yeah, I'm not really getting the flavors from this one. I mean, it kind of tastes like pear. Like the brown pear, the bosque, bosque pears. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm reaching because it's, it's like... It's like subliminal. It's not, not even subliminal mes messaging. Like, like, they pointed out it's supposed to taste like pear, so my brain is saying it tastes like pear. Mm, yeah, true, true, true. You know? I like the taste, like the flavor. It's refreshing, but. Mm. I would like, I like the high chews better. Yeah, I love high chews. High oh chews? my God. Yeah, you can actually kind of chew it. Yeah. Got some you got to get it from the right store because some stores you like see them and they're really hard. You actually got to get them from a store where it's like an Asian person working there because otherwise it's like they're old. This a bit, that's just been my experience. Like, go to an Asian grocery or Asian-owned convenience store if you want proper high shoes. If you've just been getting it from your hood corner store, and, like, fuck those bitches, they're hard as fuck. They've been sitting there. They've been sitting there. Trust they me. They don't know the good stuff. My corner store, they were sitting there until I discovered them, and they didn't start getting the soft ones until I bought all, all the hard ones because I was like, I like green apple. And I was just like, fuck it. I just kept buying them anyways because they're hard. But when I got the soft one the first time, I was like, Oh my god, this is how they taste? Oh my god, this is so amazing. And then I just I was totally hooked and tried all the other well, grape and there's a few other flavors. Oh going back to it, eh? Oh, oh, not bad. I mean it's not oh, bad. It's just like I don't feel Oh see, I'm not look, a gum person. Look, look, like I I'm like, wow, see has handled hot sauce that I couldn't handle like a champ, not even with a drink. And, um, wow. And the bean boozled. I, okay, you know, you did spit out, spit out the beans. You did. Beans that. were disgusting. I never want to do them again. Ever. There's a new edition coming out. No. You know how good those videos did? Really? Yes. The watch time? Well, technically everything we do gets good watch time. I mean, like. We just had half a million views. Well, we just passed half a million views. Wow. Yeah. We're going to do something big soon because we've hit so many things and we haven't done a celebration. Does that mean I'm moderate, like mildly famous-ish? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Considering people get pissed off when I do videos with other people. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Jealous? Yeah. Or envious? So I learned this today. Envious and jealous are two different things. That it is. Right. That is true. Jealousy is being afraid that you're going to lose something that you already have. And envious is being, you know, wishing that you had something that you don't have. You see somebody else have it and you want it too. Mm. But in a negative way. I did not know that distinction. I know. I learned that today. Wow. Huh. That just changed something I was writing. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But, uh, why you gotta hate? You know what? They hate us because they ain't us. That's true. Just like that quote from that uh, movie. I forget. That. This is the end. We are pretty cool. Yeah. We, we know you guys. I could be like the Miz and be like, be jealous at the end of every episode, but I'm not. I say keep it blitz. Because I want you guys to be in with us. I'm not trying to put out. You would want to come and chill. Negative people are no fun. They aren't. They aren't. Why would you want to hang around people who are sad and jealous all the time? This is true. This is true. Actually, it's really freaking draining. I can't believe we're like getting into a real talks. So or maybe next time we'll have to do a real talks episode and actually give some time to that conversation. Because this is something I've talked. This is why I don't have a lot of friends anymore. Right now, all my friends are just like. I technically had like twenty seven friend groups, and then it's like now I was out of every friend group, I only chill with like one or two people of each group, and then in some cases I make a super group for certain events. And invite people from different groups. But it's just like. I like. Positive people. That's why you're in my videos. And none of those people. Because your vibe is so awesome. I like. I look forward to shooting with you. Yeah. I actually clean this place. I don't really clean it for (laughs) anyone else. Uh, But. um, It's like. um, Yeah. You know. We'll say. This will be a whole episode. There's so much to say on that. If you Uh, guys want to hear it. Put it down in the comments. Let us know, guys. And don't just put it on Facebook. It's so hard to keep up with those. I can't see them. You got to join the... the, I got to send you links to some of the groups I'm in. Oh, yeah, you should. I just got like a friggin' 100 likes on just a fucking screenshot I took of TV. (laughs) (laughs) There was like something very controversial on wrestling and just like... The commentator was just like... Yeah, I don't want any part of this. And he's just like, and I was like, Tony does not look like he wants to be there at all. Mm-hmm. And it's like the comments is just like, holy shit. You just got to get those spots right when they happen. I'm not in those groups. So if you want me to see your comments and you want me to chat with you guys, you got to write it on the YouTube one. Yeah, let us know. Let us know here. And let us know if there's another country snacks we should try. Yeah, guys, there's so many other places. We love trying new stuff. We're, and for food, too, you know, for our future episodes of Fat Kid Tuesday. I just went to Dave & Buster's for the first time. We used to do an episode there. Um, that is the uh, Gamer Bar Review Series. I'm going to get you to join me on the La Q Lounge. Very cool pool hall that apparently has some, like, awesome menu items, too. Let's do it. I like pool. Not very Not... good at it. Okay. But I like it. Okay. Good. I'm okay. So if you're not very good at it, that means I might actually win. <laughs> um, guys, better. we're going to wrap it up. We'll pick it up. We'll figure out when we can finish out the rest of this. Got lots of snacks. Don't worry. Yeah, we can. Uh, Amea, I know you're watching and you're going to be coming and trying to take these. Um, I'll, I'll still filter out certain ones. Maybe you could steal some. I'll leave half of the ones that we didn't finish. There's a lot there for us to do. Um... Let's wrap this up. Yeah. Can't eat so much sugar. She has somewhere to be. I have to update her on some things. Burn it off. And um, where can they follow you on social media? If you like foodie adventures, find me on Instagram. Eat now, diet later. Uh, If you want to see me do ridiculous things and try new things in the world, you can find me on YouTube at Wabi Sabi Adventures. All right, peeps. Well, you know where you can follow me. I, I, I haven't memorized it yet. I, we we're going to start including it, though. I'm going to go say the thing I used to say. I tried it last time and effed up. Follow me on everything TBX 420 Club and Urban Franchise Entertainment. Stay good, peeps, and keep, keep it, it blitz. blitz.
Jump.